Good morning, everyone. This is Emily from Great Family Adventure, and today I am talking to you guys from the middle of the woods. Last night, I did my first ever hammock camping experience, and I kind of wanted to walk you guys through this setup and just my overall first impressions of sleeping here in the woods in a hammock. Ready? Let's go. Yesterday, Nick and I decided that we were gonna go sleep outside for my birthday, and we decided we wanted to hike to get there too. So for us, this is kind of a new thing. We haven't hiked often to go camp somewhere. And so we were thinking, what can we do to make this light, easy, and just make it happen? So today, I've got the Enos set up here, and they've got the double nest hammock here that we actually slept out of. It was quite comfortable. Um, I would have to say that I'm curious about sleeping in hammocks by yourself and not in the double when it comes to the actual sleeping part, but considering that was my birthday and we got all the extra cuddle time with no kids, I was appreciative of being in the double nest last night. Nick's enjoying the close proximity. I have nowhere to go. Can't, can't run away. Trapped, help. Let's check out this setup. You've got the two-person double nest hammock right here. Then you've got the ember under layer that goes underneath the hammock to keep you guys warm. It's kind of like a sleeping bag underneath. That thing definitely kept us warm. It was pretty awesome. Basically, it's like a blanket that attaches to the underside of your hammock to make sure that you have that insulation, much like a sleeping bag. So lesson learned for me, they make those things so you can sleep out of a hammock in cooler temperatures and your butt doesn't get cold. So that was awesome. My butt was not cold at any point. And then we had the Pro Fly over top. There's also a bug net in there, but luckily for us, it's still early March here in Tennessee, and so there's no bugs out. So we didn't have to set up the bug net last night. We didn't have to worry about any rain or anything like that. So maybe not quite necessary, but it was nice to not have to worry about dew kind of cooling us off in the morning. But yeah, for our first time ever camping in a hammock, it's actually super simple, super easy, and really comfortable. Nick and I grabbed our double down sleeping blanket. We didn't even really sleep in sleeping bags because we figured between the hammock and then me later finding out about the under quilt, uh, we figured just an over top style um, sleeping bag was gonna work and it did. We were plenty warm, which was awesome. It takes a couple minutes to set up. You literally just strap the straps around a tree, hook your hammock up, hook the undergarments over, and then same with the fly over top of the hammock. It literally just wraps around the tree. You tighten it snug and you're set up. One thing that I really liked about the straps that are provided by Eno is they have all these different loopholes on the straps themselves. So instead of having one or two places and you have to try to navigate the trees, really you could find just about any tree that kind of fits the width of the hammock. And then they have actual hooking points. You notice here, that allow you to get it into the right spot. So again, it just makes it way more simple, way more effective, and uh, really gives you more time for adventuring. Another benefit to sleeping out of a hammock is just remembering that it's light. Nick actually hurt his ankle recently, and I was like, I guess we're canceling any opportunities to go hiking for my birthday because we can't take all that weight. Well, lesson learned for me, this whole setup is so light that it was really easy for us to take all of our equipment with us. It was light, easy, and uh, we pulled it off, which is awesome. So if it wasn't light, I'm not sure we could have done it, but all in all, the entire setup is, oh my God, it's gotta be less than 10 pounds. It is so light, it's ridiculous. If you're backpacking, if you're doing overnighting out of a kayak or just anything where you're looking for small, lightweight, easy to use, easy to set up, Highly recommend checking out the hammock setup for camping. It's really nice knowing that if I have kids with me, if I'm taking my kids out adventuring, that this is a great use of equipment when you're hiking long distances. So next time I take my kids out hiking and we think about camping, I think this is the setup I may go for simply due to the fact that the kids can carry a lot of the equipment as well. So if I have to carry food and so forth, I know that I'm gonna save a lot of weight by going with this setup. 
whether you're looking for the hammock, whether you're looking for the bug net, whether you're looking for the under ember warm sleeping bag pad under there to kind of keep you guys warm at night, or obviously the fly if you're out in the rain or looking to keep that dew off you. Lots of options to kind of upgrade your camping setup, which is super cool. And just stoked, camping out in the woods, loving life. Waking up in the hammock. <laughs> Not awake yet. One thing that was really cool about the Eno setup is that it was super intuitive to use. So even though they provide a lot of great instructions on each of the bags, like it's not separate, it's right there on the bag label. At the same time, it's really quite simple. So for someone like me who is not the best at like setting up camp on their own, uh, I would have to say that the setup, like I said, is just super intuitive, very easy. And if you're not really good at it, they give you all the instructions on the bag for someone like me. He's yep. fine on his own, but me not as much. That's the whole setup here from Eno as far as camping in a hammock. Really, we've got four pieces of equipment with us here. We have our tarp, we have our hammock, we have our sleeping bag, and then we brought the ember under quilt. And so those are the four pieces that gave us an entire camp setup. And we were comfortable, we slept, and it was just a great birthday. So what a great evening. I really enjoyed my first time ever sleeping out of a hammock. You know, in the morning, there's a little bit of a breeze and Nick was getting in out of the hammock often to start a fire. You know, just having the hammock rocking with something was kind of nice. You know, you don't really realize, you know, just how nice it is to be sitting in a hammock. <laughs> but I really appreciated waking up that way. And I'm sure if you get the chance to try camping out of a hammock, you will too. So give it a shot. Like I said, easy to use, very easy to set up and quite comfortable. So definitely get yourself a hammock and just enjoy being in the great outdoors. Finishing up our camping experience here in the hammock. What'd you think, Em? It was good that you snored all night. <laughs> For two people, I think it was great. You're definitely gonna end up cuddling a lot. You better like to spoon with your significant other if you're gonna camp in the two-person hammock, but hammock camping's pretty easy. Yeah, it's super easy. I think we might have to do some more of it. You just wanna cuddle me more. Luckily for me, I like to cuddle, so this works for us. <laughs> Thank you so much to Eno for giving me my first ever opportunity to camp out of a hammock. So bucket list item for me and gonna go ahead and check that one off. So comfortable, easy, and definitely doing it again. Mm -hmm.